Welcome, if you're new to my channel, I teach all things freight brokerage and sales. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more updates on upcoming videos. And today's video is all things freight brokerage. Hello there. So I wanted just to spend some time um, if you're watching this video, I don't know what time you're watching this video, but right now it is 518 in the morning. Um, I am an early bird. I always have been. And again, if you're not part of my channel, my name is Melissa Wokolo. Please subscribe below um, and be part of the family. And by the way, my name is Melissa Wokolo and they call me Mama Bear. So let me get, just jump in here and show you a little bit about um, what I do in the morning sometimes. And I build out um, specific types of niches. Um, and one of the niches that I have been in for the last 20 something years is I love over dimensional. Um, up at the top, you can click to watch my over dimensional video um, that for beginners as a freight broker. So up at the very, very top right hand corner, you'll see a video pop up. That is my um, RGN. Um, if you don't see it pop up down in the description, I will have it there for you. All right, so let's dig in here. The key to success in freight brokerage as an overdimensional niche is to have a carrier base. So you might think, how in the world do I move freight in the overdimensional? Well, first you have to start from a different angle, a strategy of getting carriers first. They're the experts and, um, it, because they're the experts in the industry, they building a relationship with them is super, super important. So <clears throat> nothing major about it. But one of the key things is that I'm going to be looking for at the very bottom here. It's not necessarily about the load specifically, um, but it's about the weight. So I'm going to pull up here um, these heavy weights. Um, so, for example, right here. Um, they'll write in here what they are, preferable super loads, um, 40 plus tons, um, caller text 937, and here's the docket number, which is the MC number. So I'm going to add this to my list. So um, that is a really good one that I would like to have in my arsenal. So I'll just come over here, FKF Freezer LLC. So FKF Freezer LLC, and I will drop this RGN, um, and then 889331. This is just a Google spreadsheet, um, very simple, um, but allows me to now add in stuff early in the morning so that I can now build a relationship with them. Um, just ask them if I can get their email address. Sometimes they'll keep their email on the posting, um, but in this case, they didn't. Um, and just explain to them that I've been in the industry for some time, and I would love to um, just shoot them a quote whenever I have anything. Ask them for their email address. And this is the part that I'm going to grab is this 40 plus prefer RGN from 18 to 13 axles. I want that information, so I'm just going to right click here, put a comment, and I'm going to add this comment to that. Um, and then if you just come down here, there is some other ones, like this one is a 70, 75,000 pound um, one that's kind of heavy. And again, I would just continue to add it. So, we're, so I'm going to search, I'm going to put only, and I'm going to put RGN. And I'm going to do, and by the way, this is called DAT, um, DAT board. Um, and they just went to, they're now called DAT1, but this is the old version. I haven't, you know, gotten familiar with DAT1 yet. So um, Atlanta, Georgia, great. let's just leave it as like that. And then I'm going to look for RGNs and I'm going to look for step decks. And I do the same thing with Conestogas because I have a lot of customers that um, do Conestogas. And so I do look for um, Conestogas as well. I'm going to take out the S-Step deck and see if I can. Nope, that's not a good one. Um, and then you can look for Hot Shots as well. This is a particular Hot Shot company. Um, and then you can look for Conestogas. 
um, as well. Um, and just maybe take Houston and hit search. Um, and you just look for different ones. Um, let's see RGN and do Indianapolis, Indiana. And I'm gonna do 400 mile radius. And so now, um, again, there is nothing out there. My goodness. Um, Houston. Okay. This is one we got here. So this is an RGM that handles 86.5. And then you can go from there. A big, big place where they do have a lot of RGNs is in Milwaukee area. Um, so Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, might have some, and I'm going to do like 600 mile radius. I don't know if they'll let me, it'll do 450. Um, maybe Los Angeles, California. Goodness, there's just not a lot. We put the dates out more. <clears throat> RGN. Well, well. Anyways, Back to my post, you can just be searching out and looking for them. Truck Stop is a good resource as well. Um, but right here, I am able to see um, different companies that have the heavier weight. And, you know, obviously I want to look for ones that have, like this one's 185,000, 75, and they have higher weight maxims. Um, that will be able to um, accommodate, you know, the 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 weight, etc. Um, and so I look for um, Conestogas, hot, flatbed hot shots, um, RGNs, Conestoga flatbeds, Conestoga step decks, and it's always a good idea when you get inbound phone calls on particular loads. Um, to ask questions like if they call in and they say, oh, can it load on a Conestoga? I wish I would have done that back in the day when, you know, quick story is, is that I would hear all the time back in the 90s, early 2000s. Um, can I use a Conestoga? And Conestogas were not as popular um, as they are today. Um, and Conestoga, if you don't know what that is, it is a, um, a hydraulic tarping system that goes on a open deck to keep it from the elements so the driver doesn't have to tarp the load. Um, and so a Conestoga trailer, um, I would just, you know, just like normal people, just be a transactional person and not really write down that information. I wish I would have because that was a sign. Um, I ended up later on landing a client that only wanted Conestogas and today, um, I do have a really quite large database of Conestoga step decks and flatbeds because I learned my lesson. So again, let every conversation be transactional, non-transactional, meaning that you have a human to human relationship with these carriers. Create yourself something like a favorite carrier list where you're able to um, get this information. If you're not part of my community down in the comments, um, any of these templates, things like that, our community is based of um, freight brokers and transportation specialists who come together and talk about business and how to build their business together. Um, it's very minimal on the fee. Um, love to be have you a part of our community. And again, I did not be able to um, search for trucks here, but I was able to post and kind of explain to you, you know, how I find these. Um, and you can use Truck Stop as well. Um, and the things you're going to be looking for when you're looking for um, carriers that can handle heavy, heavy weight. Things I like too is the fact that it's 90 feet. Um, and I didn't put that in my notes either. I didn't notice that. So I'm going to go and add to here um, 90 feet. So that would be a stretch trailer. 
um, as well. So they do like big super loads. And um, again, I want to just thank you for spending some time with me this morning. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Did that video blow your mind or what? So much information. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications.